Hey all, welcome to Real Little Britain. Folks, tonight I've got a beer for you, and it comes from the Fooders Brewery, and it's their past masters range. Their 1914 strong X beer. Okay, now this one comes in at 7.3% ABV. Now, I picked this up, I think it was in 2014. I'm really looking forward to trying it. So I've had it for about two years. Um and the past master range, all their beers are very, very good. Now this beer was um first brewed um just around the beginning of World War One and it was a beer which was supped on um in the early months. So this is the fifth beer in the series of the past masters range. And uh, so far I've had them all and they've been very, very good. So let's crack this bad boy and let's see exactly what it's like. So the beer opens with a lovely hiss. So straight on with the pour. So the beer is pouring with um, medium carbonation. There we go, that's it all in. Folks, look at that. The beer is crystal clear. Crystal clear, bottle conditioned. But again, uh, the beer has been sitting in my garage now for close to two years. It's a one finger head, tightly packed white bubbles. The beer itself is um, a deep orange golden colour with a little tint of lemon. Let's, or, uh, yeah, lemon. Let's go straight in with the nose. Okay, so the first thing you pick up is a little bit of candy sugar. There's oranges, there's apricot. There's very big, deep, sweet malts, but an over-sweetened digestive biscuits. And you're getting that big sourdough white bread. We're going to go straight in. Cheers. Oh. Oh my God, that is fruity. Oh. Whoa. Okay, the first thing you get, <clears throat> it's like marmalade, oranges, there's apricot, there is, then the malt starts to come through, but there's golden syrup. The beer is lovely and sweet, but not too sickly. You get white bread, you get um, light rich tea biscuits. You get crystal, you get like crystal malt, that sweetness. Then what starts to come through is whole coned, very much like Golden's hops. This is a beer to be sucked over. Actually, when I go uh, in, I'm going to get myself a nice wedge of uh, mature cheddar cheese because I reckon that sharpness of the mature cheddar will definitely cut through the sweetness of the beer. Do you get the um? Do you get the ABV? You do. Seven point three percent, folks. Nineteen fourteen strong X past masters, fifth bottle in the series. This is very very nice. I reckon this is at its optimum time to be drinking it as well. I wouldn't leave it uh, much further. Very good. The carbonation on the beer is uh, perfect for, for the style, but not even that. The body is absolutely stunning. So what's the finish like? The finish is malty, but then comes these big massive, massive kicks of orange and apricots, which leads to a lovely light um, whole cone uh, grassy green bitterness. What do I give Fuller's Brewery for their past masters, their 1914 Strong X? Um, number five in the series. This to me, folks, it's a nine out of ten beer. It's nine out of ten beer. That's really Little Britain doing a review on Fuller's Breweries Past Masters nineteen fourteen strong X uh, beer coming in at seven point three percent ABV. Cheers, Slam Car.